When you hear the term El Nino, this is probably what you think of. Rain, wind, storms. But you might not associate the phenomenon with this. And this is what's happening in South Africa right now. The country is struggling through one of its worst droughts in 30 years, due in large part to El Nino. Thanks to extremely dry weather, farmers in South Africa are fighting a losing battle. The scarcity of produce has already doubled the cost of basics like white maize, a kind of corn. And that means South Africans, like Vincent Kumalo, are using every penny they have to feed their families. They'll have to spend more from my salary and it's going to, to affect my budget in the long run. And I won't be able to, to do other things that I, I, I have planned and budgeted for because of this drought and the import of food into the country. And according to another local, situations like this make inequality in the area worse as well. The poor are the people who get affected the most because I think the rich people, even if the food prices go up, they can still afford to buy the food. So I think, yeah, things like maize meal, sugar, bread, things like that have to stay low because otherwise people are just going to starve. Now remember that this all comes back to El Nino. As a refresher, El Nino is a warming of sea surface temperatures in the tropical Pacific. It occurs periodically but irregularly, so it's tricky to predict. And crucially, it can cause wildly different extreme weather patterns in different parts of the world. A big typhoon in the Philippines, a crushing drought in South Africa. El Nino is naturally occurring, but there's reason to believe that climate change is making it worse. In fact, it looks like this year's El Nino could be the most powerful on record, which means that all the troubles that follow, namely food security, could be that much worse too. The United Nations believes that we are in uncharted territory when it comes to food security around the world. And that humanitarian crisis response will be severely tested as never before. So what does that look like? Well, 29 million people in Southern Africa could be affected by food scarcity. Large parts of Central America have already been hit with up to 80% crop loss. And the UN worries that 7.5 million people in Ethiopia and another 2.4 million in Papua New Guinea will need food assistance this year too. And unfortunately, the list goes on. So is it fair to blame all of this on El Nino? Well, yes and no. The phenomenon is a direct cause of food scarcity, but it also might be more of a symptom of a warming and increasingly volatile planet. As the planet warms, the sea levels rise, and with that may come the very first climate refugees. Here's our video on that story. And the overall situation is so dire that around a fifth of Tuvalu's population has already left to seek refuge on larger islands. These people may be the world's first climate change refugees, but Vlad predicts there will be many more. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.